Hey guys, it's been a while. I know I have totally been on and off. Um, I disappear for long periods of time and will upload a video here and there. And I am not making up any excuses. I've just honestly been lazy. Um, but I actually watched a video. His YouTube channel is named um, My Life with Ankylosing Spondylitis. And he wanted, and he kind of inspired me to go back to filming again because um, originally before I became an ankylosing spondylitis channel or like chronic health, um, I was a beauty channel and my whole goal was to keep you updated with my story of uh, with AS. But um, I thought about it for a while and it kind of like, I just didn't want to be very negative because I did hit a lot of hard spots. Um, but with COVID happening, I decided I'm going to give you kind of a little bit of a life update and, um, where I'm at and how COVID has affected me personally. So, um, I got engaged December of 2019, um, to an awesome guy. He, uh, works in the medical field and he travels and the goal was for me to live out on the road with him at some point. And I would try to find a job either online or in, um, you know, in person. And I had just gotten a new apartment and, and my lease was up June. And I wasn't sure if I was going to extend my lease or not. Um, but with COVID happening, it was, it was very eye-opening. So in my career... I got to a point where I wanted to be and I was pretty happy but my health wasn't and a lot of my physical ailments came from the stress of my job because I would be working like 45 hours at least you know 55 60 depending on when they need me sorry I can't talk I feel like I have something in my throat. And I was living in Florida at the time and me and him basically decided it wasn't safe for me to stay in Florida. On top of that, my health was so bad with work and I was deemed an essential employee. And um, I know for a lot of people, especially since they got laid off, um, that, you know, I was lucky, but my health was terrible. And the fact that my immune system is pretty bad, um, there was always that, that strong fear of, oh my God, I'm going to get COVID. I have only been on gabapentin and, um, flexoral for my pain. Um, they did put me on sulfasalazine, but I had to stop that because I had stomach issues. So in May, I decided I was going to quit my job and move out with him on the road. And where he was located, he was located in Vermont, which Vermont didn't have very high COVID cases. So I'm like, okay, cool, we'll do that. And on top of that, he lives in an RV. So I was pretty much changing my life 360 degrees. I had a small apartment. I had a lot of stuff and I had to downsize and I had to get a storage unit. <laughs> so when I, when we were moving from Florida to Vermont, we did have to, um, we did have to quarantine, which wasn't a big deal. Um, I actually enjoyed it, but at the same time I was having even more issues due to the fact that, um, not joint issues, but I started having, um, GI issues. Um, I had, I keep saying, um, and I'm so sorry. I just haven't filmed in a really long time and I, I am trying not to be all over the place. Um, oh my God, I said it again. <laughs> um, what the hell? Uh, so, 
I went to the emergency room in June. With my gastro issues, I was not able to eat for a good solid month without throwing up or keeping food in my body. And I was so tired of this. So I went to urgent care when we were in Vermont. Um, we're actually in Maine right now. We are in a green county. Uh, and so when we do go back to Vermont, we won't have to quarantine. We made sure of it. Uh, <laughs> sorry, I'm just like, I'm kind of annoying I'm the hell out of myself, which is typical. But, so, where was I going with the story again? Oh my god. I can't believe I lost my train of thought. But I'm talking to you like my friends. So, pretty much, this is how I talk to my friends. So, I did go to the emergency room after I went to urgent care. They wouldn't even take me. And they gave me uh, IV fluids and... They gave me Phenergan for the nausea. And I was really disappointed. I was kind of hoping that because I had been dealing with this issue for such a long time. And I mean, there were times that like sporadically where I wouldn't be able to eat. And it was just really hard because I didn't go to the doctor due to the fact that I didn't have health insurance. I got a new job which I only worked there for three months, and uh, I just didn't have health insurance. But going to the hospital in Vermont, even though it was disappointing, they actually helped me get on health insurance, which was awesome. So I was considering getting a part-time job to try to help, you know, bring in some money, uh, so we could save up for our future or do whatever we wanted with. And at that point, it was just not, it wasn't realistic for me. Because every day you wake up and you don't know how you're going to feel. And I was lucky enough where my joints haven't been bothering me that much. Um... But I was kind of concerned because due to the fact that I'm not on a biologic, that my ankylosing spondylitis will get worse. But at the same time, if I go on a biologic now, um, then I would be even at more higher risk for COVID. And with what's been going on, I, I just didn't think that was um, a good idea. So I was lucky enough where I found a gastro and they wanted me to go in for a colonoscopy, but they couldn't take me till December 22nd. We're leaving Vermont December 12th or 13th. And so it's not a big deal. I'll suffer, I'll do what I have to do. And the doctor's office said that they would call me if there's a cancellation. That's fine. And then I'm also going to a new GP. Um, and she has been giving me my ankylosing spondylitis medications as well as other medications that I need. Uh, so Vermont has been good to me in that way. So pretty much overall... Um, in conclusion with everything I'm trying to say is I haven't been able to work. Um, but I did decide, uh, with my career that I got to a certain point where I was happy and that I was able to get to where I wanted to be, but it's not realistic for me to stay in that career. It was just not good for my body and... So I'm probably going to be going back to school right after we get married. We're going back to Florida around like in the middle of like Christmas and New Year's and um, we're getting married in January down in Florida and then we will probably either do a honeymoon, I don't know what we're going to do, or we'll go, um, we'll probably go to 
wherever he's contracted to next. And that could be anywhere. We could go to Washington. We could go to Arizona. We could go to North Carolina. But we definitely don't want to go to Florida. Our whole goal right now is to uh, pretty much be in states where there's less COVID activity. Just for my health concerns and his health concerns. So that's where I'm at right now. Um... I just wanted to uh, jump up on here and update you with what I have been doing with COVID, where I've been. Um, the fact that I live in an RV right now is pretty awesome. I wasn't sure I was going to like it, but it's just, it's so nice. Uh, I know it's, it's compact. It's really hard to kind of cook, but it's doable. And as long as you can get creative with it. It's not that hard. And yeah, um, I know this video is kind of scattered, but this is kind of where I'm at right now with my personal story with COVID and with um, my AS. And I just wanted to hop on here and, you know, I'll let you guys know what I've been up to. And I want to hear from you guys and see what you've been up to too. And I hope you guys are having a great day and I will talk to you later. Bye.